This is ECU E92. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Unink NT combined with the MCP uh, 2515 to program this uh, ECU using the regular mode. Uh, just use the connect on the back without uh, open the front. And here is the Unink NT uh, with the modified uh, 5 volt uh, in the previous we have showed to get the 5 volt from here uh, with the MCP 2515. Uh, 25 this board does need 5 volt to work properly. So the connection is ground and, and the power. The rest four pins are SPI pins, clock, uh, data in, data out, and the chip select. Uh, on the back side here, uh, this connector has a ground pin. So we use the 12 volt ground to go here, the power supply ground to go here. And there are three pins needed to give the 12 volt. Uh, one is the biggest pin here, which I use the biggest uh, clip here. So let's go here. There are two additional pins for ignition. So I also have the 12 volts connect to the modified uh, the PC power supply. So one goes to this pin and the other goes to one goes to 40, the other one goes to 18. So which is 18, 19, 18 here. The can high and the can low pin goes to 27 and 28. Uh, 27 is can high. This is how this connected. The Two wires go this module. Uh, you need to have the jumper wire, he, uh, jumper here to properly terminate this canvas, and then we can plug in this one. Go to the uh, USB hub. So now I can power on the 12 volt. Uh, monitor this 12 volt power is good good so go to the software you need to wait about 10 seconds after the power on to be able to get the ecu detected so now let's go to the uh, detect chip you can see the chip is properly detected uh, the clock uh, canvas clock is 500 kilohertz and the first thing you need to do is to read and I would suggest you uh, read the shadow as well as the, fla uh, the flash. So read the shadow and save it. The reason we need shadow is when you do get brick, you need to debrick it. You need to have, know the password. So let's save the shadow first. So save the shadow and it will give you the password in this file name. Uh, I'll save this one. I also can read the entire flash. This ECU has four megabyte of flash, which is quite big compared to the other ECUs. Um, reading the speed on the canvas is quite slow. So it's read about 31 kilobyte per uh, second. Uh, in the BAM mode, however, it's much slower because it's running at 200 kilohertz. So about you know, 13, 20, uh, 12 to 13 kilobyte per second. It's finished about two minutes and 10 seconds to read the entire four megabyte of flash. Uh, it is always a good idea to verify your read. You know, if you do not get a match, then we will uh, not uh, be confident to, to start erasing it. So here, uh, we, since I know this is good, so I'm going to save this file to this. But in the meantime, we can wait until it's the verification finished. The compare get okay. So after two reads, we, we get a good backup and save to two files. One is shadow and the other one is the, the flash. Now I'm going to execute the erase and programming. But once you start it, you, you need to wait its completion 
before you power cycle. Currently, if you power cycle, this is fine. But if you start erasing the program, you need to wait it's complete. Otherwise, this one will get break. Or you have to use the other method like boot system mode or JTAG mode to, to recover it. So currently, I'm going to erase the flash. I'm not, not going to do anything for the shadow. Okay, so I'm going to erase the flash. And this, uh, this chip has very large uh, flash, so it does take uh, quite a while to erase all the flash. So erase finished. It takes about 52 seconds to erase the entire flash. Let's do a, a real blank check here. So let's blank check. Blank check the entire flash. Make sure this is blanked. It is not absolutely needed to do this set step, but I'm just showing you here. We can do the erase and program separately. Normally you just need to, let's say you don't have any file in here. You just want you to load this file, so load in, and this will say this file is loaded. And you select the flash and click this button to, to program it. So this button now, since I do use the configuration here, it's auto-verify, auto-verify. So I'm going to click this button to do the erase and program and compare. When you don't see any progress in here, you can monitor this LED and the LED is blinking. So we know this uh, there is activity going on and it will take a few, a few seconds, you will see the progress bar comes out. If you see the LED stops blinking, then there are some issues. So it's always a good idea to read the shadow and the flash first, so you have a good backup. Just in case you do get brick, then we have a way to recover it. But you need to open this case, which is very hard to do. So be very careful to do the programming. Since I already take the other side off, I'm going to do the boot assistant mode in next video and the JTAG in another video. So erase uh, finished. Uh, for some reason, this erase takes longer than the other one, which is 12, uh, 52 seconds. Now programming starts. The programming speed at the 500 kilohertz is uh, about 30 kilobyte per second. Uh, when read, you get 32 kilobyte. That's a 29 now. So program finished, uh, it takes about 2 minutes and 34 seconds to program and it's automatically compared the entire 4 megabyte of flash, see if we do program well. Compared OK, so if you want to program this device using the regular canvas mode, the entire process should take about six minutes to erase, program, and verify. If you do not want to verify, it will take like four, uh, five, four minutes or so. I hope this video helped people to start programming this new type of ECU. Uh, there's Gen 5 ECUs, and we will continue to uh, explore more new ECUs in the future.